I think we're live. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Rabondre, and today we'll continue working on the fish game. Now, we're going to first start off, like I always do, because I don't have something set up yet. But um, I always start off by, you know, making sure everything is all set up in the... Yeah. Well, that's kind of cute. I, I didn't notice people um, did the... Um, add a fish emoji to the last uh, live stream thing. But yeah, today... We continue on the Fish Fest. If you guys um, were, are unaware, um, we started a new game jam uh, like yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. And we only have five more days. We're we're running. I honestly, I missed one day here. Let, let me let me show you the game jam. Honestly, what, what am I doing? I should just uh, show it to you. So here is our current. Here's the game jam. Oh, we have four, di five days, five days. We have five days to complete this game jam. So everything is looking pretty good. I will say um, streaming earlier feels really good. It, it, it honestly really feels awesome to stream just a tiny bit earlier. Hopefully um, enough uh, people, this, this will mess up. Chat up and running. Hopefully this won't uh, be a problem um, for, for any of the viewers. I know I keep switching time zones. Like I keep like, oh yeah, let's stream at from 11 to four in the morning. Oh, then let's stream from like seven to 12. I know that for a lot of people, if you're used to me streaming at one time, me changing it by like several hours is a problem. And I do apologize for that. I'm going to try to be more consistent. I'm trying to work it out. It's it's a process though, especially because the job I'm in right now, it's a lot nicer hours compared to my previous job, but it is a bit more erratic hours, which is where it's going to be a bit more difficult. But anywho, with all that being said and done, let's... Um, Also, I did notice I have some, what's going on here? I'm seeing a notification. Oh wait, here? No, that's not it. Uh, Hello, Piplup. Welcome back to stream. How's it going? Welcome back. That is the weirdest thing. I'm seeing a, is that an April Fool's thing? I'm seeing a singular notification in my friend, my direct messages section of Discord. I'm not seeing anything about it. So I'm going to ignore it for right now, but you know. Okay, everything is looking pretty good. Yeah, so Fish Fest, Game Jam. Uh, for those who were not here to hear, are, am I festing my fish? I am more or less festing my fish. I um, still have a long way to go before my um, my fish are gonna be properly done. Let me actually start by uh, making a new day. So Control C, Control V, rename this. Day two. Okay. So for those who weren't here, here's what we have so far. Basically, uh, I check on message requests. I, I did not say anything there. Yeah, I don't see anything there. Yeah, I don't see anything. It is what it is. I generally try at the beginning of my every single day to like be up to date on notifications and stuff and make sure that I'm not missing anything from any viewer. But anyhow, yeah, I know. I don't know. Maybe it's an April Fool's prank. Uh, maybe Discord wanted to fool me or something. But so right now we have this thing where um, it'll follow my mouse. And, and yeah, so this is pretty good so far. Next up, I want to, well, let's actually before anything else, I kind of feel this is going a little itty bitty too slow. So let's, um, Let's speed this up just a little bit. Let's like, I, I want to see what a good speed feels like. Let's do speed three. Oh wait, this is not the right. This is a new day. A new day, a new dawn. Uh, I'm just gonna delete this, don't save. Hopefully I, I, I definitely did save before I did that. So, um. Let's do speed 10 and see how that feels. 
honestly, this feels a lot better. Like it's it's not like on my mouse directly. So if I like if I like go like this real fast. No, no, I, I for sure saved. Uh, it is a bit of a nightmare that, especially, I feel like I have a very, very bad tendency to write like 50 lines of code and then very, like I'll save it at the very end and then we run it and test it and make sure it all works. But for 50 lines of code, I do nothing. So theoretically speaking, like after like an hour of me frantically adding in functions, I feel like if anything happened, computer gets unplugged, Something happens, bam, all progress lost, full hour. No, so actually um, this is gonna be the fish. So um, we're gonna have the fish swimming around and you can control where the fish is. I think it's a little too fast right now. I feel like th I, I wanna upgrade to this point. This point feels pretty good, but I wanna like have like, gotta upgrade the fish to like be faster, faster fish. Um, so. You do that too. I will say, uh, everything I'm saying right now is stuff you shouldn't do. <laughs> Don't be like me. That's, uh, okay, I, I lowered the speed a little bit. Yeah, this feels a lot better. I, I want it to be like enough to where like you can control the fish. It doesn't feel like, oh yeah, I gotta wait an hour for it to go across. But I want it to be like slow and uh, fast or slow enough to where you want to upgrade it. It won't be dodging the hooks. So. Here is, okay, actually let, let's get started on the next part. So the next part I wanna do is I wanna start having food start floating around. Like it'll go in and like float around and go to the other side of the screen or whatever. So let's start doing that. Um, for right now, I think I'm gonna handle it is, I'm just gonna make the food go from like left to right, keep it pretty consistent. And I kind of want to be more centered towards the top. So we'll do a logarithmic curve to make sure that probability is where we want it to be. So let's get this started. Let's get it started. I've been seeing that a lot recently on stream. And I think it's because I keep saying, let's get it started. And I feel like um, that is the only appropriate response to me saying that. Okay, man, I'm so hyper. Also, I have a bunch of caffeine, but I'm so hyper. I think it's, I think it's just me streaming a little bit early just feels so much better. Um, one thing I will say also, also one thing I wanna say is I am gonna start doing more social media. So yesterday, actually my social media kinda sucked yesterday or today and yesterday. So it, it, I'm gonna, it's gonna take a bit of get me getting used to it and like of like pumping out social media content and making it high quality. But um, for what it was, um, we posted twice yesterday and I we're getting close to like the three, four times a day that I feel like I should be posting. So, um, and also I now am starting to post on Twitter and threads and I'm gonna start posting my Instagram stories and Twitch stories and everything else. So that is all happening. So expect a lot more content coming soon from a, from a streamer near you. Okay, me. But um, let's get this, let's figure this out. So I wanna start generating food. So I'm gonna use the set interval function because it's kind of like, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put most of the stuff inside of here. And we're gonna create a food array. So for the food array, I'm just gonna make, make like a, a food equals an empty array and we'll have like an add food function add food is also I think theoretically speaking maybe I should start I mean okay I, I think this this particular game jam the person who's hosting it it feels a little bit different than the previous game jam because in the previous game jam I feel like I could plug my stream but this guy's an actual streamer so it feels a bit icky to do that in his I mean I don't know I'll, I'll look into it okay but anyways that's neither here nor there but in the add food function so in the add food we're going to first create a segment. So um, we're gonna do document dot create element seg. I code like in a JavaScript. Hello, also hello Brian Little, welcome to the stream. Hello Chris Paul, welcome to the stream. Um, 
But yeah, no, I, I code exclusively in JavaScript and I try to have zero dependencies. I code exclusively in Notepad in a sync. Okay, I've been adding some extra external files like PNGs and so on, but to mo for the most part, I code in a single HTML file. So that's kind of what I do. That's my vibe. That is my craziness, my unhinged nature as a programmer. But um, let's let's do this. So I'm gonna create an element called seg. I'm gonna actually put it as a text, as a string. I always have this bug. Um, and we're gonna save it as F. No, not capital F. Actually, you know what, guys? I have an awesome idea that maybe you guys will vibe with. Maybe, maybe this is gonna be something that I'll make you guys very entertained. Um, because as you guys probably know, I am ex extremely bad at naming stuff. Like I literally just named uh, this variable for a singular food unit, the, the DOM, DOM element, F. <laughs> Very creative, I know. So what I'm thinking about doing instead, <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll have a tutorial. I'm gonna make you guys, I already, have, actually wait, wait, I already have a tutorial. Okay, I, I, will, I will spend more time teaching you guys how to do the, should, should I teach? That's a question actually, should I? Is it, is it a good idea? I don't know, but okay, ignoring all that. What I was thinking, because I'm so bad at naming variables and quite frankly, um, the variables I usually are very, very local. So it's pretty easy for me to follow them even if I forget the name of it or whatever. What if I will name my variables after my subscribers, my viewers and all everyone who joins the stream and you know contributes and stuff. and. At some point, we have to, if we have too many takers, maybe I'll do it for people who donate bits or I'll have like a Twitch thing where I'll be like, hey, channel points for getting your name as a variable. Something like that. I, I, I think it'd be kind of fun. I think it'd be kind of interesting. So do we have any takers? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, uh, what I'm doing right now, so I am learning and I am like creating a lot of weird stuff because I feel like I, I'm really taking the route less traveled. I'm taking the most difficult route possible for doing this. So I definitely learn while I stream and I try to explain, I try, I, I do try to teach. I, whenever I'm coding, if people have questions or ask, or asking what I'm doing or how I'm doing stuff, I answer the questions. I guess um, what I was talking about was less about this, like what I normally do and more just, maybe I'll have a stream where it's like, let me teach you guys how to build it from the ground up, step by step by step by step, and not like an actual, like a holistic thing where I'm showing you while I'm coding. So, I mean, maybe we'll have a tutorial stream. Okay, if we have like a day gap, instead of a, instead of a break day where I do, um, I raid games, uh, maybe we'll have a break day where I do a tutorial. Okay, so the ad happened. But, um, so, do we, does anybody want to be a variable? Who wants to be a variable? Is the ad over? Well, the ad's over. Is the ad over? I can repeat myself if you guys want. I think in my Twitch thing, the bobber up and running so I can actually see when you guys are being hit by ads. Stream manager. I think the ad is over. Yeah, the ad I believe is over. Is the ad over? Let, let me know, Piplup, if the ad is over. Yeah, I mean, actually the thing is, um, I, I will record my, I, I mean, all my VODs are recorded. And um, if you guys, if, maybe if I do a really tutorial, like deep tutorial on it, I think it might be helpful to have like a three hour session where I'm like really, going into the nitty gritty on how I make games. But if you guys would like, I do have a tutorial I already, I've already made. Uh, let me show it to you guys. It's very simple, it's a super simple tutorial. It'll just teach you the very, very basics of what I do. Wait, uh, it's actually, I believe on my, it's on my Instagram, it's on my TikTok. Um, let me see if I can show it to you guys. Okay, I found it and let me show you guys on here. So let's go over here. Actually before that, I'm gonna first make sure it properly shows up. Okay, so this is the tutorial I've made before. 
where um, it just goes through how to make a simple browser game. And I kind of explain the process for like you from the very, very beginning. So open a text editor, type the following. This is just a basic HTML. Save the game as HTML and run the browser. And I show you guys how to save it and how to run it. And then result of a web page with hello world on it. So this is like a basic hello world program. And then I show you guys how to add in um, in this in the DOM in the HTML um, tree um, a player thing, and I give you guys some CSS to play around with. And then I show you guys the result. And then I show you guys um, the code to create a very very basic um, input output scheme. To well, this is just the input. So I create a thing where you guys. I don't, I didn't see your message, Brian, the first one. Oh. Yeah, no, I, I, I really, I want to, I want to be able to, the thing is, I feel like a lot of people, when you see a tutorial, it's this thing where you like install three different things, take these dependencies, take these art things. There's like very few that are like, okay, we're going to start from the very, like nothing, literally nothing. We're starting from nothing and we're building it with a very ba bare basic programming blocks, if, ands, DOM, HTML, browser, and we're actually learning all the details and, and like all the how to make something that's very like um, foundational. I think there's very little stuff out there that's like that. There is, I, there was one resource, I forget what it was. Somebody brought it up a long time ago, but um, I do forget what it was. Um, but anyway, so I, I have this thing here where, so I, I show you guys an input scheme so you can actually um, have an array of inputs. And then honestly, I recently I had a better idea. Of, uh, actually, no, I still I stand by this one. And then I show you how to uh, have some basic physics for a um, for a jumping game kind of thing. And then um, you can move the square with eight. Sorry, this isn't jumping. Game. OK, I, I don't have basic physics. I just have moving left and right. So I show you guys how to do basic motion. And then you if you write all that code down, then you can move the square left and right. And then I have some bonus questions. Honestly, this post did horribly <laughs> on every platform. Actually, on TikTok, it did really well, but like the algorithm hated it. Like it, it, it got so many saves and likes. It still is getting saves and likes, but it like the algorithm barely took it out there, even though it had a bunch of people saving it. So I don't know what happened there, but you know, it is what it is. Anywho, also all of my code, actually I haven't done this, I gotta, gotta correct this, but most of my code for right now is available on my GitHub. It's CCO, CC0, anybody can use my code, anybody can use my poorly written code to make whatever they want. Please do, because I, I would be very happy if you guys learned and became, did cool stuff using my techniques. Anyhow, forgetting all that. Um, last call, and if nobody wants this, if there's no takers, that is fine. Does anybody, would anybody like to be a variable? So Brian Little is saying, keep making them. High production covers a lot of bills. Yeah, I, I think, that, again, the, the main issue that I kind of run across is people don't like how I make games. Like that, that is a, I think it's uh, people. Okay, I think people all, like fall in either like three groups. They either hate how I make games. They either um, are impressed by how I make games, or a mixture of both. Or on a very very rare occasion, um, people um, just don't care and would rather do it their way. And that, I think that one's actually the most fair one. Actually, I think the impressed and don't care are the most fair ones. But there is a substantial group in the hate group. And, you know, it always feels a little bit iffy making stuff because, like that's um, more tutorial based because I know that a lot of people are going to be like, ew, JavaScript, why are we making games? Like, you know, and honestly, they're somewhat valid, quite frankly. But the, the nice thing about game engines is, um, so what I was saying before, where are you making a game from complete scratch? Um, there is something to say about being able to make games in game engines quickly. Because once you learn a game engine, once you know you can how to do it, you can get from point zero to 100 a lot faster than... Because in JavaScript, you really got to start building stuff slowly. That's why, like, if you look at my game development, I start with a very... Like, I, like literally, it took me an hour just to get to here. With a game engine, you open it up and you already have this. I think that's the bigger thing about game engines. 
Anywho, okay, that's enough of that. Let's get back to my coding. So I don't think anybody has any takers on being a variable, so I'm going to not include anybody as a variable. Maybe I should put a post on social media for that. Mm. That could be cool. Anyways, um, so f equals document dot create element seg, and then we're gonna add. Let's do f dot style dot background color. Make the color of the square be green, cause this is food. It is algae, algae, al. I don't know, something like that. And then um, we're gonna want to create a location for this. So we're starting it on the left. So at zero question no negative no minus actually i know i'm gonna do this so i think i'm gonna do this using the scale that i normally do so if we're using the scale of the square what we want to do is start with minus one and it'll go from zero to ten okay that's it so how we're going to do this is y, no, x is equal to minus 1. y, no, no we can't use x because that's already taken. fx is equal to, again, worst naming conventions. fx is not taken. Okay, fx equals minus 1. And then fy will be a math.random times 10. And actually... You subscribed. Oh, also, I completely forgot to say that. Thank you for the subscription, Brian Little. I, I I saw that, and I was I was like, after I finished this sentence, I have to say something, and then my mind got derailed. I'm sorry. Thank you for the subscription. Much appreciated. Never required. I really appreciate each and every one of you, and everyone who subscribes, especially. Not especially. That, that's a lie. That that, that that sounds horrible. No, I, I I appreciate all of you, and subscribing really helps the channel, and really helps you guys find me easier. So I do appreciate it. Anyways, so we're going to do um, let's do power of two. And we'll do one minus this. And that should give us a logarithmic. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm typing. And that should give us a logarithmic curve, I think. Uh, this is definitely going to be like a thing we got to test out. And then we're going to do f um, dot style dot left. And for the left, I can just type in this because I, it's um, minus 8.1. 1. Yeah, we're doing 8.1. Actually, it's 8. Actually, I don't know yet. Let's find out. I think it's 8. I could totally be off, off the mark here, but that's all right. Um, so min minus 8, vh comma minus 8, vw. I will say a lot of how I handle coding, you should not replicate because it is pretty bad, honestly. If I'm being, if I'm being completely honest, it isn't great, some of what I do. I, I can admit that, I can admit that. Um, I think, the best thing I can say is approach my code with caution. <laughs> I think that's the most fair statement I can make. I do hope you guys are, um, even if you guys don't really like my way how I code, I hope you're entertained by how I code. At the end of the day, I'm just an entertainer. I'm a, I'm a comedian of a programming nature. A conniving, a conniving comedian. But yes, okay, so f dot style to left, all that's correct. Okay, and next up what we're gonna do is we're going to 
Um, yeah, we gotta make a add to the food, right? So food dot push f x comma f y. And with all that being said and done, I think no, we got it. We nearly forgot. We got to append the child. So document dots find or it's a get element. Get element by I. I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting what this is. Um, by ID square dot append child f okay and with all that being said and done that should create ourselves some food and now what we can do is we can animate this food and make it right so i'm going to just uh, do this badly initially and then we can do it right so i'm going to just um for i equals zero i less than food dot length actually that's incorrect we got to start at food dot length food dot length minus one i greater than or equal to zero equal to zero and i minus minus um the reason i'm doing it in reverse instead of forward is because we want to be able to delete stuff easily and then after that what we can do is um hello to gruel bunts welcome back to stream how's it going but okay so and then after we do that what we're going to do is for every single item we're just going to look at the x value. Actually, we're going to first do um, food i 0 plus equals 3. Why not? And no, plus equals 1. No, that's still bad. Plus equals 0.1. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually, we're going to append. I'm glad it's going good. Um, Togro Boss is going good. You told me I can I can call you Barris. Okay, I'll call you Barris. Um, I'm doing great. I'm being a little bit crazy right now, but you know that's pretty much usual for me. Um, I am from Ohio, Ohio, and over in the U.S. of A. And um, we've been hit by bad weather recently, so that's it, it, that's been a thing. But uh, no, 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 no. okay, we're gonna do mm, we're gonna do this. But uh, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm kind of hoping to get a lot of stuff done today. Quite frankly, we're all, out of all the stuff I wanted to do today. We're already kind of done. It looks like half of it, which for like ten lines of code, pretty good. But yeah, no, it's fine. Um, what we're gonna do is. Yeah, no, I'm I'm a living walking meme. I, I've kind of come to I've I've come to accept the fact my meme nature. I'm an Ohio man born on 420. Andre Roman from Romania, well, parents from Romania. You know, just uh, so much of me can be memed. You're from Turkey. Well, greetings to Turkey. Anyways, um, we're going to do food, food, I, two, food, I, zero, copy, and paste. And all that being said and done, it should just work. Romania looks like Turkey. <laughs> yeah, I mean Romania looks like a giant fish, which is kind of ironic given we're in the fish fest. But yeah, no, you're um not entirely wrong there. Okay, so I'm gonna save this and let's run it. Ima guys, imagine if this runs zero bugs first try. Could you imagine? Is it possible? Let's find out. I mean, it's running. I'm not seeing any motion. Let me see if anything's popping into existence. I'm not seeing any fish. I'm not seeing any bugs. I didn't append any food. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, not a bug. But also not perfect, so I'll give myself half points for that. Um, let's go back to the code. I just forgot to append food. I, I was so, so thrilled to have the set interval function working. But also thank you, Barris, for uh, wishing me a, an early happy birthday. Maybe we'll do something special for my birthday. I don't know quite yet, but you know, it's good, good to think about it. We're gonna do like a, a math.random is, let's do like, less than 0 0.01, then we're going to add food. And that should solve it. Oh wait, Little said that. Not, Brian Little said that, not Barris. My bad. I was looking over there and I saw the name in green and I thought it was uh, Barris. My apologies. Every time that I join the stream, I see you get more than 50 subs. Yeah, and honestly, everything's been popping. Um, I will say my shorts yesterday bombed. Um, it's still looking pretty bad from a shorts perspective. Maybe that'll resolve itself. Honestly, I did kind of change things up. I released two shorts that were like me playing through my game and they kind of, I get it. They just weren't the same quality as my previous com content and just felt really different. And it kind of, honestly, looking back at it, it kind of doesn't look, I'm not very proud of it, but also I wanted to show gameplay in a very clear fashion. It's kind of like, I can see them doing well, but I can also see why they could or are doing badly. So maybe it's not gonna happen. But, uh, Brian Little says it's all good. But um, yeah, I, I'm gonna be going back to my usual Hopefully I didn't bomb my algorithm, but uh, if things are going well, hopefully we'll be going back to my usual short content calendar in a second, and hopefully we'll see even more growth. But yeah, no, I've, I've been growing pretty good so far. I'm, I'm extremely happy with my growth. I'm honestly, I'm very thankful for all of you guys for helping me grow, because quite frankly, it isn't about me. It isn't like I'm just growing, subscribers are like how tall I am or something, and I'm just like miraculously growing another inch. It's more like, um, you guys find my stuff fun and interesting and maybe find me as a cool person. And because of that, you join in and you subscribe. So clearly I am just very thankful that what I'm creating is in some way meaningful to you guys. It wouldn't be meaningful if it w I'm kind of taking the fact that you are subscribing as it's showing that I'm doing something that people like. And I'm happy with that. I, it makes me feel warm inside. So thanks to everybody who's subscribed. Thanks to everyone who is joined in, commented, left things. I got one negative comment, but you know, we'll get those. But yeah, thanks everybody. So back to the code. So back into code, I already finished this and let's see if my add food function works. I'll leave the console open real, real fast. It says that there is food, but I don't see the food. Wait, did I, I, for, I didn't change the right thing. Okay, that's not, again, not a bug, just a small, small oopsie. Left, okay. Um, I will say that um, if I seem really tired and slow, um, Please still chat because it does make, I, I'd rather, I'd, I'd rather you guys, because I will say I'm the kind of person that gets my energy from other people. I'm just, I'm just like a social butterfly in a way. So generally speaking, if you guys chat, I get, I get, get some spikes. If I get so tired to the point where I can't chat, then I really do close the stream. But if you guys chat, I generally feel a lot better. So don't ever feel like you're tiring me more by chatting because that's just not the case. I really appreciate it when you guys chat, actually. It makes the streams go by so much nicer. And also it feels like I'm making proper content. I'm interacting. I'm a true streamer. But yeah, no, it's, um, that's kind of the vibe I get when you guys comment. So I think I fixed the code here. So let's save it, let's run it. So. Third time's a charm. Let's see if this works. Okay. You're kind of fast, but... I'd say it's a success. Um, I don't know if...
Yeah, okay. I think it looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna slow them down just a little. Actually, should I start doing some stuff? I should. I should. I should um, plan ahead because with this project, I want scalability. And that's something that we have not had to deal with yet. So this is an interesting exercise in scalability. So we're gonna create like a, um, Yeah, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another variable called FDX. Also, uh, for those who are, who are just dropping in, they're just joining the stream, I, as I was saying earlier, if you guys would like to be a variable, be one of my variable names, let me know and I will throw you into my code. I will make you guys a permanent part of the project. Just let me know. And in the future, I might have like a requirement for it, but for right now, there's like, I have like a dozen variables. So if you guys want to become part of my code permanently, your name will be in here. Just let me know. I'll be happy to add you guys. It's kind of funny, actually, if you think about it. <laughs> also, if you guys have like a, a, a request, like, hey, I want to be the timer variable, or hey, I want to be the, the um, speed variable or something. Okay, we're gonna do math.random, math.random for the speed times 0. Point, I'm gonna 0. 0.08. I think that makes the most sense. We're gonna put that at the bottom, at the third element, fdx. And I'm going to change this one to three and change this one to two. And with that, I think that is pretty good. Yes, we're working on a fish game now. New game, new week, new game. Okay, so here's what it looks like so far. I think I'm starting to um, struggle with the backlog. So I do want to make it so that when the food goes off the screen, it becomes deactivated. So how we're going to do that is pretty simple, actually. So let's go back to the code. And with code, but also welcome back to Stream Dark Knight. I did not even process that I was a new person. Welcome back to Stream Dark Knight. Nice to have you here. So the first thing we're gonna do here is, actually I'm gonna stop this from running so it doesn't use up any more resources. But we're gonna go back into code and we're going to make it so that if whatever the food element is, is at, um, is too far to the right, if food i zero is greater than 80, then we're going to remove it from existence. So we're gonna first uh, delete the child. And how we're gonna do that is just um, food i three dot delete. I think it's like this. And then we're going to splice it out of existence. So food dot splice i comma one. Else, we're going to uh, render it. And with all that being said and done, let's give it a let's give it a whirl. So now, well, theoretically speaking, when I run this thing, Bob, get my little file up and running. 
fish fast, day two, run it. Why is my computer acting up? Feels like it's kind of slow. When I inspect element. It isn't deleting it, that's a problem. Okay, I think I've put it too many. I think it's actually, the way I've created the scaling of it is incorrect. So we can go back to code, and in the code, I think it's greater than 10. I think it's, maybe it's just delete. There we go. Hello, Lead Amir Wolf, welcome back to stream. How's it going? Welcome back, welcome, welcome, welcome. Now let's run it again, see what happens. Let's see if it deletes them from existence. It isn't deleting them, that's the issue right now. They're still there. They are not being updated anymore, which is good, but I want them to be deleted. Also, I'm gonna look at task manager, because something is taking, I also have like a million tabs of Chrome open, that might be it. Yeah. What's like, I'm gonna delete all the Chrome tabs. Okay, so how we're gonna be making this game. So here's the vibe I'm getting for this game right now. So you will be a clownfish. And if you know anything about clownfish, they have a symbiotic relationship with sea anemones. Anemones. And what they do is they chase away anemone predators and also forage for food. And also they protect themselves from certain predators by hiding in the anemone. So how this game is gonna work is um, you're gonna to have to defend your home as a fish and you're going to also go out to get food um, to keep yourself alive every single day. So you're gonna get food, chase off predators, and you're gonna defend yourself or like hide when there's a bigger predator in the water. And I'm kind of thinking the longer time goes by, the more difficult, like the less food there's going to be. Oh, that's so much smoother. Okay, so I, I cleaned out all my Google Chrome tabs and it is so much smoother. Honestly, you know what? Mm. Now nah, I'm going to stick with Microsoft for Microsoft Edge right now. As much as I hate it and as much as I want to switch to Opera GX, um, mostly for the meme, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I, I kind of, I still want to stick inside the, I'm using only pre-installed apps. I feel like that's kind of something I'm going to try to um, keep going for as long as possible. Remove! That was an, I was, I was not remembering the name of this thing. Okay, let's see if this works. Man, my memory is horrible. Let's see, let's remove. Let's look at the inspect element. There it goes. Look at that. Management. Okay. So now we have food. And now I'm going to create, um, let's create a sprite for the anemone. I mean, like a bigger square, like a orange square. I 
Actually, for, let's make it so you can actually eat the food. I think, I think that is the next logical step here. Go back to the code and we're gonna do, so if this is the case, actually before this, we're gonna do, we'll have add another else if in here. Let's first properly get some space and we'll do if food i zero is less than x plus one, yes, no, yes. Is x less than x plus one and oh, i zero. I x zero is greater than x minus one. I'm gonna copy and paste this and food i one is less than y and food i1 is greater than y minus one. Then we're gonna do this. And for right now, we'll just have a score. I'll just improve a score whenever we do this. And we'll do um, document dot get element by ID score equals dot inner HTML equals score. And that should work. Let's run it. Did I save it? Why isn't it working? It's X, right? Yeah, it's X. Oh boy, okay, I see I see the problem. I see the problem. They're using different units for dx and the y and everything else. So we're gonna have to go in there and properly affix the units to a universal standard, which I'm gonna call the win-min. The win-min is the proper universal standard for my games because it um, lets me do weird stuff. So um, we're gonna adjust this. Because I'm the thing is I like scaling. That's that that's the main thing. And actually, uh, adhering to the windmen will actually give me some other benefits as well. So I'm gonna stick with the windmen. The window minimum. So uh, we're gonna do dx is equal to mx. So we're going to get the location of this times windmen. Distance. Honestly, probably gonna be a speed of five, actually. I'm gonna delete some. I'm gonna delete this entire thing, actually, and we're gonna remove this.
over min. minus 0 0.5. We'll do the same thing here. Over min win minus 0. I have a feeling I'm going to mess all this up initially, but it'll work out in the end, I believe, I think. Okay, then we do this variable. And now, now this is in the min win variable. So now everything else should be, yeah, everything else is based on these variables, so it should be accurate. Now x should be based off minwin. And with that, now we can do min plus eight times x plus view height comma plus eight times x plus view width parentheses uh, we're gonna just properly space this out for my mental well-being and then we're going to do bottom and do y and with this, now it should work. Theoretically speaking. Or everything has gone horribly wrong. Minwin is not defined. Okay. Because we're defined minwin, but. Oh, win min, not minwin. So I fixed that, and now I'm gonna go back in here. Wait. Okay, that is not correct. Huh, okay. Well, that's really interesting, actually. Why is it acting like that? That is bizarre actually <laughs> okay let's go back in let's mess around um we're going for the one of the bugs for sure is we're going from the top not the bottom so that is definitely one of the bugs we gotta deal with Am I? I am. Okay. So then the bug, the solution. Okay, so let me let me okay, I need to draw this out. I I don't my brain isn't working right now. My brain is refusing to do this the right way. Okay. So here's what we have. So we have the web page and we're getting the location and the location is inside the square and we get this variable right here. 
And now I need to convert this into this in Minwin. So we know we know this. We know this. Also, why is my drawing thing? Why do they have God about doing something this complex in Notepad? Oh, uh, um, well, okay. Let me let me show you um, what I did last game jam. This is a, this is like our fourth game jam. Um. Dum da 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 da. -da. Okay, where's my effing dungeon? Okay, here we go. So here is my last game jam. What I made. So here is the code. For the last game, Jim. And here is the result. This is all done in HTML. Well, there is embedded JavaScript and embedded CSS, but for the most part, HTML. Here is here is how the DOM looks like. By the way, this could this could have done a lot more efficiently. But um, this is how the HTML DOM looks like as of right now in this project in this other game jam. Um, but yeah, and then the previous game jam, I only had three hours, so we coded, um, okay, actually, but between, between that game jam, I did another, actually, I haven't posted any, did I, I'm not sure if I even streamed this, actually. I made this thing, though. I think, I think I made this out of stream. I made a basic game of It's a lot easier to make, whatever. I made, I made snakes. Um, I did this like in two hours. No, I did do this on stream. I did that in two hours. And then in three hours, I made um, this game. Anyways, you get, to, you get a picture. Um, and then in, I did a three day game jam before that. Actually, I only ended up having two days, I believe. And um, on that game, this is actually one of my more impressive games, I'd say. Where is it? What's it? Valentine's, here we go. This game is honestly my most, my most crazy project. I don't even have it access. Okay, this one is done exclusively in a single HTML file. I don't actually, I, I was actually improving the code. I, so my, I don't have the code that I had done before. I do have the GitHub page for it though. Let me get the GitHub for you. GitHub Urbandre. Urbandre. And I, uh, where is it? Where are you? 
basic Valentine's Day Jam. Okay, let's copy this in. The Valentine's Day Jam, um, I can just download it again. Here, let me just, I'll show you guys the code first. This is um, every, all the, it's, it's pixel art done exclusively in um, CSS. So this is a CSS words that define pixel art. These are actually sprite sheets. Um, you see, if at, the, if at the bottom, you can see the progress bar and how much more we have to go. Can I zoom out of this? Wait. Let me, let me copy my CSS sprite sheet into a um, into my into a file here. This is a singular CSS sprite sheet. Anyways, now you kind of get a vibe of the stuff I do on this stream. I'm unhinged, and I, I, I make it work. I make I make being unhinged work. Okay. Anyways, that is an for those who are new to the stream. That's an introduction to the kind of stuff I do here. So if that kind of if that kind of weird stuff interests you, I'm your guy. Click like and subscribe. I'm just kidding. I I, I can't say that with a straight face. I'm too cringe for me. But I do appreciate it though. I do appreciate if you guys do it. I just feel bad saying it. Anywho, back to me coding this thing. So I got kind of off. Topic, but so we need to find this height, and we have these all of these um, things. We know all of this, so we know the height of this. We know this is 10, 10, 10 windmills. No, this is 80 windmills. 80 windmills. We know the height of this. Well, it's worse than bitmaps. Okay, it is more or less a bitmap, but actually I what I did was in the in CSS you have a, sh a box shadow property where you can have um, extend from a singular div um, a, a shadow. And if you think about it, you can you can put a shadow wherever you want and you can make it whatever color you want. So you can create a pixel pixel art using the shadows of a div. And um, you and then in, and exclusively using CSS um, words, and you can make that very very like um, then you can add like stuff like scaling and stuff into that. Yeah, and no, honestly, um, I think bitmaps would have been a more efficient solution to what I did, but I kind of enjoyed doing the CSS. And also, I, I think there's applications to the CSS that are much more for me intriguing. But that's I, I that, that's a huge discussion I've had many times. I don't want to bore you guys with it right now. It's kind of off topic. I'd be happy to like talk about it like in a on another stream though. I do want to make sure I get this done. I have an idea. Mm. Okay, I think I think I see the numbers. I think I see how how this all comes together. Also, I hate how this. I don't know why this is not looking the way I want it to look like. I need to adjust where the. Right. My uh, no other solution is as funny. Yeah, I will say I, I do consider myself the comedian of game jammers. I, I think I have the objectively funniest solutions to these problems. I 
I do enjoy it though. I, I think what really the reason why I do this, to answer your initial question, the main reason why I do this is because I find it funny and fun and interesting. And it just seems like something I like, I, I like doing. Like I like coding this way. It, it actually brings me great joy. And in in a world as cruel as this one, anything brings me joy, this cold, dark soul, is worth my time. That's just the way how I view things. Um, okay. Anyways, back to our project. So the issue right now is I think. So right now, what, what we're getting is, I will say the scale looks wrong as well in this thing. Like when we look at this, um, okay, so even though this is incorrect, theoretically it should go, wait, wait, whoa, 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 hold your, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I got it. I think I, I see the lines. I see the pixels, I see the lines in the walls. I don't know, lines in the walls, that doesn't make any sense. Um, all we gotta do, all we gotta do is I'm pretty sure the scaling, as far as I can tell, seems to be, I'm gonna try up, upping the scaling by, let's just try this, honestly. Let's try 80 times X, 80 times Y, and we'll do X, no, not X, Y, min, one minus, no, yes, maybe, 10 minus Y. That's it. And now let's run it and see what happens. Oh God, stuff has gone wrong. No, it's going okay. So the issue now is it seems to be, it seems very like locked on to this. Wait, 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 wait. Why? Okay, let's first get rid of the, the why thing for the sake of, um, for the sake of just seeing if the scaling is correct. Let's, let's do one thing at a time. Maybe I'm going too far. It seems to be like very. That's actually bizarre. Why is it why is it acting that way? It's like fast and really slow. It gives me the, the vibe I'm getting from this is this is a is it distance causing issues? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's figure this out. So we need to convert. I don't like this. We need to convert the MX everything to Winman. So. We've done it so far where we have, we have ourselves mx minus document bounding client left. So this should give us the locate the, the, I, this gives us the mouse position. Based off of and honestly, I'm gonna get rid of this. I think this makes our life a bit more difficult. I probably should incorporate. No, I need that. I need that. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay, so we get this location. So we get MX minus this. That's this distance right here. If you divide by win min. Nope, that's not a problem. Okay. And then 
we do minus 0 0.5. So if it's in women, if it's in win, men, eighty times Let's see if it makes sense when I'm doing it here. Is it over a hundred? Is the issue is is the issue that this needs to be over 100 here? Is that it? Oh god, that that does not appear to be it. Let's actually remove this for right now. Go back to standard scaling. And uh, inspect invalid 111. Okay, what what token am I? Oh, a times. Go back in here. For the naysayers who are saying that this is, I should use a game engine to do this. Um, while that would have made this a little bit easier, um, I disagree. <laughs> With no backing whatsoever. So why is this causing issues? Let me look at where is my clown? Okay, I need to console log this. I'm gonna go into all the corners and see what the numbers we're getting. I think that that is the solution. That is how we're gonna figure this out. That is how we'll get to the bottom of this. So what I'll do first is we're just gonna do I want to isolate this for the sake of understanding this. So let's first console.log this. And see what happens. Seventy nine, zero, zero, seventy eight, seventy eight. Okay, so that's correct. That's in Winmans. Okay, and then This will be 4.1. And we'll do, okay. And now let's do the Y. And see, so awesome, that looked pretty good actually. Remarkably good, actually. So let's see what this gives us. So zero, 80. Okay. And that's just inverted. Okay, so in that case, I can just do minus 80 minus this. And then that should give us the Y we need. Yeah. Well, we multiplied the um, the other stuff by yeah by eight okay that's all accurate is it accurate though it is okay good 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 so then this should all be accurate let's just run it and see what happens.
in. Okay, 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 okay. The scaling is a little bit wonky. And it is in. Look, I can eat it. So if I fix the scaling of this thing, it should be pretty. I can eat the um, eat the plants. Hello, bad cop. Welcome to the stream. Sorry, I wasn't looking at chat for like a full minute because I was lost in a bug, but the bug is now gone. Long live the bug. Um, is it just X? That that feels so wrong, but it also it it's working. So I don't really want to mess with it. Like if, if this just works, I'm not gonna. It's a little bit off. Wait, 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 but now it's. Okay. So the true position is correct. It does not match the mouse. The issue must be with the mouse. Oh boy, okay. So the issue is with the scaling factor win. -win. I will fix this, this. I'm so, so close. So, so close to getting this to work. I'm like right there. I'm right there. I'm right there. I'm right there. Right there. And then we can honestly, if I can get this to work, um, that means I got the scale factor done. So most mechanics will just come pretty easily after this. I'm going to go back to setting this. So this was correct. What I did before. Actually, I'm going to just do control Z a couple times. Minus four, and this is all correct. The issue is purely with the win min factor. Is it 10? Is it just 10? Is, is, that, is that what I'm missing? Is this just 10? I, I feel like that has to be it, right? Wait. Where is X going? <laughs> I think that's where I probably should start my investigations. Let's do console log, no, not X. Console, actually I can do X. Console log Y. Where's the other console log? Oh. Also, I just noticed that, that some of the stuff is moving way too slowly. Willing to fix that. Also, now the speed factor is also crazy, so we've got to re reduce that as well. Okay, but that's not the main issue right now. So here. It's at X is going to 75. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The issue is. That this square, wait, no, that, that can't be it. But it is it though, because the issue is it's going from zero to 80 and that is.
So the left and top thing is working for sure. That, that goes without saying. The issue is how far away it's saying the MX is. No, the scale factor is working. So Is it 800? I'm gonna just mess around with this number really fast and see what happens. So here we know we're getting the square to go into this area. So if we increase this, let's change to 200, see what happens. 200. That was weird. Go back to 110. Why does 100 work exactly? Actually, wait, when I go down here, it doesn't, it goes further below. Okay, so at 0.5, that's when it's most accurate. Outside of that, it seems to be acting up. My brain, my brain is not working. My brain is acting up and not, not telling me the secrets. Tell me the secrets. Okay, so most of this, everything is based on the DX factor. If I can get DX to work, everything works. I'm going to remove the, the stuff that handles. Okay, so that fixes that. So this, let me change it on to 50. What will happen if I do 50? As it will make it more accurate? What I don't understand is, oh wait, 50, not 500. Why exactly 100? Something about the scaling is really bothering me. I just can't put my finger on it. So DX is how we're handling this. And so far, it's accurate. Like we're getting, we're getting, so if the mouse was here, like the, the square is going where it needs to go, it's being, well actually wait, so because the X and the Y no matter how bad, how we get there is, that doesn't matter. Okay, so that's actually like an a irrelevant point. It's just getting the X to match up with the mouse using the min win.
I'm gonna just like I'll, I'll I'm gonna throw in this in here and see what happens. Okay, I, I really need, I need to see exactly what is happening with let's say the y value for instance. It's constantly decreasing. Wait, why did this start so negative? Okay, so this corner is minus 1250 and this top is 83. So the top is correct. The bottom is going... The bottom is going the min-win value. Wait, 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 wait. Um So at its max value it's correct. But getting close to zero, it's incorrect. Wait, wait, I have a theory, I have a theory. This might be totally wrong. I, I'm almost positive it's wrong. Yeah, this is looking really weird. Really cool, but undoubtedly weird. It seems in, just from an external perspective, it seems to match the mouse a lot better. But why? Hello, Nirvan. Welcome back to the stream. I am currently struggling. I'm, this is a real struggle bus. And, uh, and yeah, I don't... I'm currently stuck in bug hell. I don't know why we're getting this really weird uh, JavaScript. Well, okay, um, what you're seeing here is an inspect element. Um, this is just JavaScript. I hope so too. I, I we'll, we'll see, we'll see how this goes. I, 
I'm kind of dying mentally with this project as of right now, just because I don't really understand what it is complaining about. Once I figure out what it's complaining about, I think everything else will fall into peace or fall exactly in, in the way I need it to be. So, okay, X and Y isn't based off the min-win. Okay, I think that's the issue. The issue is a, X and Y are based off of min-win times eight. That is, because min-win is, so be eight over min-win. That is what what this is based off of. So so this this here should be eight times on top, and this this should scale it down. Okay, so theoretically speaking, this should work. So at zero, at, wait, so at zero, it is, so if it doesn't move, what happens is the dx should be zero. And dx is zero when mx minus all of that is equal to x or y. So y is equal to all of that. And as of right now, wait, 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 wait. This should be 10. And this should be Ten minus that. I'm going to delete this part for a second and see what happens. I'm going to focus on x first. I think x has more sim simpler logic than to y. I I'm just I'm I'm just kind of shocked at how 
much difficulty this is giving me. This doesn't really make sense as to why this is um, acting so erratically. It's quite frankly bizarre to me. Oops, Daisy. I'm just upping the scale by... Okay, so it's going too fast now. Wait, that's looking pretty good. Okay, 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 okay. I think I'm on something. And... Now it's the same thing on the Y. Man, if, if this is... Okay, so Y right now is going from... Oh, 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 it's working. It's just a little, I think it's two pixels off. So I think if I just do minus two, minus two, that's pretty much perfect. Now all I gotta do is add a minus four out here and a minus four out here and then wait no my, minus 0.5 and now it's working pretty good and now I'm going to do is I'm going to change the speed level to much more reasonable speed We'll do point 0.1 for right now. And now we have our fish. We can go and collect the food. So far, it's feeling pretty good. I do think I'm thinking maybe I can make it a little bit smaller, like make, make the scale of everything a little bit smaller. Also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this the tank be 20. I'm gonna make this more. Honestly, I can, I honestly, I'm not going to mess around with it too much. Why don't we just keep it at 10, but make the scale of this, of the square. No, I'm going to up the, I'm going to up the scale just to kind of um, keep it consistent. So everywhere where there is a 10 involved. So 19. FDX. And we're going to do this plus 0 0.0. I'll make this 16 and plus 0 0.04. And then we're going to go into here, make this 4. We'll do 4 times this. And then here we'll do four times this. Four times this. Now let's try running it. Okay, so now it's the okay, so now I'm gonna get a scale issue again. Now all I gotta do is um go to where I did the scaling. And instead of it being times eight, 
be times four. And now it should, oh, it's a daisy. Also gotta update this as well, 20. Yeah, okay. So as of right now, it should just work. So far, so good. Okay, now we're back on track. And that is something that I've we lost 40 minutes being off track of um, due to that bug, but we're now back in a good spot. Gotta fix when the food despawns. It despawns at 20. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, we're gonna add in our little anemone sprite. And we're just gonna... <sighs> Go in here, I'll add a um, seg ID. Honestly, this is more like just a placeholder sprite just so like we need to know where it is. Um, really, all I gotta do is make sure the styling is correct. So style is equal to... Hey, how's it going, Manom Nom? Um, I just use Notepad. It's kind of my thing. I've been using Notepad for quite a while now. In fact, um, all, all last four game jams I've... Last three? Last... Yeah. Last... All three games I've done so far, all I did using Notepad. And it's been pretty fun. I enjoy it, personally. Background color is equal to, we'll give it orange. And we're gonna give it left. It's gonna be min. Eighty, forty. We want to give it like a slightly bigger sprite than twice as big. So we want to give it 8, 40 minus 4, 36. 36 view h, come on, 36 view height. And um, then we're going to do bottom is going to be 0. Give it a pixels, it doesn't really matter. And I think we're good. No, we want to make the width is going to be equal to... min 8 view h comma 8 view height and the height will be the same so and i think that is pretty good so now we can just uh, close off the seg and then give it a run give it a whirl I'm not seeing it. Did I place it in the wrong spot? I'm not seeing any bugs. Oh, it's um too far to the right. Go back to the code, and we're gonna do view width 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 there we go there we go now we have our um our little anemone well or now we don't have the sprites done yet but now um we have 
food spawning in. We have the anemone. Oh boy, too fast. I can create a better. Oh, okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start creating enemy fish that are that we're going to want to chase away from the anen anemone. Oh, that's gonna, this is going to be such like a hard time for me. Honestly, this part right now feels pretty good, like collecting the food. No, okay. I like the size of it. I feel like it feels enough to where I have enough room to swim around while not being so much to where it's like too much. I think there's definitely something we can do with like tide here as well. Okay. Anyways, back to the code. We want to create enemies. Oh, the misery. Everybody wants to be my enemy. Okay. So we're going to just do enemy equals. And for right now, create a function, add enemy. And in the add enemy function, we're going to just copy and paste all of our this code. We can even keep the same variable name. Give it a color red. Now, the interesting thing about this is I want the enemy to kind of spawn in the lower half and like start making its way to the anemone. Anemone, 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 anemone. Okay. And how we're going to do that is we're going to start by so fx, fy. So fx, we're actually going to, I'm going to do some interesting logic for this because I am feeling spicy. Um, we're going to just do plus math dot random less than zero times seventy seven no no it's twenty plus 19. Okay, that, that should make that work. And then this, we want to keep it on the lower half. I'm not, I don't need to do um, a curve on this. So for this, we can literally just do math.random times from the bottom, so it'll be 10. And with all that being said and done, now it should be fine. So we're gonna spawn in the red and then the red is gonna beeline it at a relatively slow pace. Um, I'm not gonna worry about, actually, uh, I'll keep, uh, I'll make the speed be a lot slower for right now. But I'll keep the speed in there. And we'll do enemy dot push, min x, everything else is pretty accurate. And we're gonna do copy this. We'll do fx, fx. And we're going to just have an add enemy function at the very top of this as before. And we'll do if math, math, if math.random is less than 0 0.001.001. .001. Make it a little bit less likely. Add enemy. And what I want to do with the enemy is I want to kind of make it so that the enemy is going to beeline it towards towards the anemone unless I start pushing him away. So let's create that. Honestly, this game is turning out so good. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm vibing right now. This is a good, this is a good, good, good jam session. Oh, I have an idea. What if, what if we make 
a bunch of jam emotes. Like literal jam. I gotta do that. I gotta do that. That's too good. I I I, I have no excuse to not do that. That that is a hundred percent what we're doing. Okay. Excuse me. I need a drink. Back to the code. So we have the enemies added in. Theoretically. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the enemy beeline it. Um, because it's just going in a straight line, we can literally, um, I guess because we want a constant speed, I'm going, or a um, define the speed of it, I'm actually going to do it properly. Yeah, no, I, I, I have no excuse. We're gonna do the same thing as I did before. We're gonna have to add in some logic for Hello, Fallish. Welcome back. Well, I'm not sure if I've seen you before, but welcome to the stream. How's it going? But yeah, welcome, welcome. And today we're coding more fish stuff. And right now we're trying to create enemies. And for the enemy logic right now, a little bit different than this. So what we want to do is we want to make it so that hmm. okay first things first first things first we're going to do s I'm, I'm not gonna try to sing right now why don't you trying to sing i don't know why i'm doing that that's I'm being ridiculous. Okay, um, so we're gonna just first get the distance. So we're gonna do distance is equal to um, distance or enemy i. It's got to change the enemy. Enemy i zero power two plus enemy. Well, well, actually, um, the um, we already have an anemone. <laughs> Ironically, we have um, an anem anemone um, in the game already um, because we'll be playing as clownfish. Here, let, let me show what we have so far. So right now we have this, where we have this this orange thing down here will be anemone, and these green things will be food, and we will be a clownfish. Um. And right now, the clownfish is going around collecting food. He's going to scavenge. But the clownfish um, in nature will protect the anemone from its enemies. So the, there will be little guys who are going to try coming here and take a bite out of my home. So I'm going to have to balance collecting food, which has a higher chance of spawning up here, while uh, protecting my home away from the enemy. So i got to swim back down and chase off the enemies and then go back to collecting food. And that is the current challenge. So right now we're working on making the enemies work. Also the vibe of this so far is pretty awesome. I actually really, I'm really digging this vibe so far. Okay, so next step is we're going to go in here and we're going to manipulate yeah, no, right now it's purely just pixels. It's not, not even pixels, it's divs. It's um, HTML divs. But yeah, no, this, I think the sprites are gonna, what's gonna really bring it to life. And actually for this game, uh, my girlfriend will be handling all the artwork. So um, we're gonna, it's a collaborative thing. I'm gonna handle all of this um, ugly code and she's gonna make some beautiful sprites. And um, it's gonna be awesome. It'll be her first game jam. So I'm really happy. better win uh, <laughs> but yeah so for right now we're gonna find the distance so enemy I one power of two yeah teamwork makes a dream work 
And then what we're gonna do is now that we have the distance vector, or not a vector, it's not a vector, what am I even saying anymore? My terminology is notoriously incorrect. But yes, we have the distance and we can now manipulate this by doing I two over distance. And we want to get enemy. So if it's at 80, we want to bring it down to 40. So from 80 to 40, it's going to be x, no, 40 minus, 40 minus x, okay. My brain just refuses to work, okay. 40 minus enemy I voice crack, holy. This times speed over distance. That's pretty good. And then we're gonna do the same exact thing, but this time we're gonna do it for the Y value. And for right now, I'm just, I'm not even gonna mess with the secondary part yet. Let's just like see what happens. I wanna see. Zero minus this one. Actually, we need to update the location. And then we're going to Enemy style left is enemy and enemy. Rinse, repeat. Enemy one, enemy one, bottom. And with all that said and done, now we should have the enemy, theoretically. It should spawn in. Unless there's a killer bug. No, there's no bug. Oh, there is a bug. Oh, did, I used the wrong terminology for the distance. Oh wait, you guys can see that. That's what happened. Um, I forgot to use the same this. I keep like saying distance and then I write down distance and that's the wrong thing. It's a bad habit of mine. Okay. Let's delete this. Eat some food and then eventually do we have an enemy? Okay, there definitely should have spawned an enemy at this point. I don't know what is happening here. Add enemy. Oh wait, I'm... No, that's right. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. you guys saw that, right? Why do you move so fast though? Okay, so there is, they are appearing now. I'm seeing them. Oh, there he goes. Whoa, what's it doing? Whoa, 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 that was weird. Why did it go over there? Hey, what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Okay. I know what's going on. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's going on is my distance function, I'm not actually getting the correct distance. I kind of sped through it because like, ah, I'm so smart at math. That makes sense. And then I just forgot that this is actually minus 40. And now this should give me the correct distance. So let's see if we see the behavior. So eventually we should see a red thing Bob do something. I'm raising the problem. Oh, there it is. Okay, is it gonna go to the an anemone? It's like missing it. Yeah, no, it's going like all the way. Holy. Oh, it goes to 10. It goes, oh, 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 oh. It goes to 10, not, not 40. Okay, that's an easy fix. 10. Okay, I think this will fix it completely. And 10. Now, theoretically speaking, now it should work. Now, now it should do the thing. So we can collect the food. There it goes, look at it. It's eating my home! Get away, get away! Okay, I can't do anything yet about it, but... Yeah, okay, now now the behavior is correct. Hello, Chris Ball. How's it going? Try and get the star I see. Okay, so what I think we need to do is I'm going to make it so that I can chase them away. Because I don't I don't think we want to do like a, a strict distance function. I think how I want to do this is um we'll go when you're on one side of them, you'll push them in a certain direction via your X if you're close enough. So what we're gonna do. So we're going to first start with this function here. So this is doing the enemy motion right now. And this is... So first, the first thing I'm going to do is if the enemy is... I think we're going to push them at a certain, like, like a distance of one. So we'll do if enemy... Um, I zero is less than minus 1.5 or enemy I zero is greater than 21.5 or 20.5. then we will delete it from existence. Else, um, we're going to render it. I don't think the enemies, I don't think we're going to be able to theoretically eat the enemies. I mean, it could be funny if in the end we create like an upgrade where you can eat the enemies and we can like add, add a special case for that. But for right now, we're going to just make it to, to where you'll just chase them off. 
So if it's out of this out all of the screen, also I don't know why they're going so quickly. I gotta fix that. They're like going like way too quickly for what I'm expecting the enemy to be. Like I, I want to give you time to react the enemy while you're scavenging for food. So yeah, I think everything's going way too fast right now. So right now what we're gonna do is enemy. So um, let's first take care of removing the enemy. Enemy i three dot remove. Then enemy dot splice i one. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add an additional if. If enemy, so I think we're gonna mainly focus on the Y value. Actually, no, we wanna get both the Y and the X. So if enemy I zero, let's like do like a radius of, let's do three. Well, let's see how, let, let's see how three feels. And if it doesn't feel good, we'll, we'll increase it. X plus three. And okay. I think we're, we're gonna go for like another, one second. Okay, we're gonna end streaming in like 15 minutes. Um, so for right now, let's, let's finish getting the enemies done and I'm going to call it. So if the enemy is within range of our character. Actually, I'm actually gonna do it this way. I'm gonna bring this up before the distance calculation. Cause I want I want the them swimming away from you to be um not computationally intensive. There's no reason for it to be. Why less than that and then and that. Else and then else we're going to do this computation. So it's less than three, greater than minus three, y less than three, greater than y minus three. If that is the case, then we are going to do enemy Okay, so we'll we'll have to do enemy time enemy i three no enemy i zero plus equals and we want to know if it's on the left or right of our little guy. So to do that, what we'll do is we'll add a conditional. So enemy i zero less 
than x. And this should give us a zero if it's not true. Um, I will say, um, I think the fixing error part is, is fun, but it's not pleasant because in the back of your head, if there's a huge error, you're always wondering, oh, where, how deep does this go? How long will this take me? Like earlier when I had that like 40 minute long bug, those aren't fun because like, oh yeah, this, I, I just want to move on. You know, I've been here for too long, but usually if it's like, if it's like, like a quick bug, it's like, oh yeah, let me, let me, let me problem solve. It's like solving a puzzle. And I think even the bigger ones are bigger puzzles, but sometimes, sometimes the joy of solving a puzzle is less than the joy of like getting a feature done, you know? That's how I would describe it. So we'll do minus 0.5 times two. So if, if let's do let's, 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 Let's do the actual thinking for this. So if it is, if enemy is to the left of X, that'd be one. It's wrong, it needs to be greater than. And times enemy I three, no two. And that should work, theoretically. Let's run it. So we're out here collecting food. Again, the food is going way too fast right now. But now I can push this enemy out. Okay, another enemy is here. Honestly, this feels really awesome. I am, this is too good. This is too good. Things are going too smoothly. I'm enjoying this way too much. Okay, so now we're gonna decrease the speed of these guys because some of these are going way too quickly. So I think we're gonna do FDX on enemy is gonna be maximum. Let's do 0.2 and lower to 0 0.5. Yeah, I think that's, mm, yeah, five. And then let's decrease the speed of the food. So I like the, I like the ones that are like really slow. Get out of here. So I'm going to basically I also don't like how it stutters like that. And how we're gonna solve that is Okay, so We're gonna add something else here. So we'll, we'll add another else if, and this one we're gonna do if it is, I, I don't wanna be like so close to the, the whatchamacallit to where it's like, 
Also, I think this this one should be 9.5, first of all. So I'm going to first change this thing right here. 9.5 and 9.5. And then what we're also going to do is if the enemy i0 is less than, so the size of this is 9, wait, actually is it 9.5, 9, yeah, it's 9.5, so the size of this is going to be 8, 8. 8 or enemy i0 is greater than 12, 12, 11. Then we're going to do this. Otherwise, I'm going to do is score minus equals 0 0.01 and we'll do document dot get element by ID score is equal dot inner html is equal to score. Now let's try running it. So now theoretically speaking, if the enemy gets to the Okay. I just saw a message. Do I not see a message? Wait, one second. Is it on Twitch? You said, dude, you look like Nibby. I don't know who Nibby is, honestly. Also, by the way, I, I, that is the, um, I'm not going to fix this bug. I'm just going to delete the part that is causing the error. Um, when eating anemone. Okay. So that's, and we're going to just run this. And yeah, we're calling it right here. Thanks everybody for watching tomorrow. So for some we have a lot of the mechanics done. Tomorrow we're gonna actually, hopefully um, finish fleshing out the enemies and just all of the, the entire gameplay loop. And then we're gonna start actually building and upgrades and the animations and all the other fun stuff. So again, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys all enjoy the stream. And I will see you guys on the next stream, which will hopefully be tomorrow. Um, Actually, it should be earlier again tomorrow. So hopefully around tomorrow, 7 or 8 o'clock. So again, thanks everybody for watching. And stay awesome. I think that's the most important thing. You guys are all awesome. Bye-bye. See ya, Chris Ball. See ya. Who else was on stream? See ya, Chris Ball. See ya. Was there anyone over on a... See ya, Leader Wolf. See ya, Fallish. See ya, Nom Nom.